it's the beginning of the term. Let's get that great book set up. We're going to go through this as quickly as possible. Remember at any point just hit pause and uh, you can catch up or you can rewind and replay some things if I'm moving too fast. So first step, we need to pick the class we want to set up a gradebook for and I'm going to demo setting it up with this class. Uh, we go and click assignments and we are going to set up this menu, this menu, and this menu in that order and our gradebook will be set up. So first of all, teacher preferences. You get to pick any of the options that you want. Um, I want to high drop students, if I want to show student pictures to help learn their faces I could pick that one. Um, I also personally like this one which uh, puts the most recent assignment at the front of the gradebook um, and the ones that were done at the beginning of the term way at the end of the gradebook. Your choice. Um, you need to pick a default grading task. Let's use term final. And here this is an important piece for when parents and students go to the portal they can easily find your website. Um, the quickest way for you to do that is to maybe go to Moodle where you have your website and copy the entire address including the HTTP and paste that in and click Save Teacher Preferences. The second menu we're going to take a look at is Edit the Grade Calc Options. And this is the page that is causing people the most confusion right now. Um, actually, if you've ever had a grade book set up and it shows that a kid is getting 87%, but it doesn't show that they are getting a B plus, um, this is the page that's the culprit. So notice here it says no calculation for grade. Well, we do want to calculate a grade, so we just click on this radio button and we select which grading scale and let's use the HHS curve. Now there's a couple of very important options here. If you do want to weight your category, so for example homework's worth you know 20 percent of their grade and tests are worth 80 percent of their grade, click this button. I'm just doing straight points so I'm leaving it unclicked. And this one, never ever ever click this button unless you really understand the math behind it. Um, for most people, 99.5% of us, we will not be checking that. Um, teachers who have checked that in the past, um, at the end of the term, their grade book is all messed up and uh, it really changes around what a kid's grade would really be. So leave that unchecked. Save my changes. Okay, once I click Save, let's go back to the assignment list. The third and final um, menu that we need to do is called Edit Categories. Categories are things like tests, homework, uh, essay writing. Uh, you can divide your class into as many different categories as possible. This is nice on conference nights when you can compare and see that a student's grade in tests is very high but they're not doing any homework and that gives you um, some informed information to help uh, discuss how that student could improve in your classroom. So what we need to do is at least create one category. So we're going to create uh, tests um, first. If we were waiting, this is where we would put in the weight. Um, your weight should add up to 100% across your categories, but we're not waiting, so we're going to leave it zero. And I am going to apply it to both of my teacher's assistant sections. Um, so I only have to do this once. If you'd be fortunate enough to teach like three classes of the same thing, you apply it to all three and you're setting up your gradebook for all of those classes at the same time. And my grading task is term final, and I want to save my category. I'm going to go back to my categories, and now you can see that I already have a test category. Now I want to create a second category called homework. I am not going to put a wait because I am not waiting. I'm going to apply it to both of my sections, and it is going to be for the term final save my category. And there they are. My gradebook for this class is now set up. Thanks for listening.